All right, this video is how to use a regular vinyl cutter and a regular pen to create a pen plot. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up CorelDRAW and in your document, uh, you're going to create a new document, you're going to name it something unique, your width and your height are going to be dependent on your piece of material. We're going to use an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Now here's the problem, is our sheet of paper has margins, or the vinyl cutter is going to end up giving us margins. We're not going to be able to cut in these areas around the outside of the paper. Roughly an inch on either side. So my 8.5 by 11 actual size ends up being about 6.5 by 9 usable. Now, depending on how you set the vinyl cutter up, it could be greater or less than that, but we're just going to start with that as a ballpark so that we know how we can get started. All right, so I'm going to put in with 6.5, height 9. Okay, and I'm just going to make something really basic. I'm going to put a pen plotting. Okay. Yay. Okay. And I can make it bigger. I'm assuming you already have some basics, basic knowledge on how to create things in CorelDRAW. So we're going to go real simple. What we have to do for the vinyl cutter is make this object have no fill color. We want a hairline outline, so just like this. No fill, Oops, focus camera. No fill, hairline outline. All right, now I'm ready to load the vinyl cutter up. So I'm gonna grab a sheet of paper. I'm gonna put it in the vinyl cutter. Assuming that my wheels are already in the right location, you want them about an eighth to a quarter inch away from um, the rollers. You can move the rollers if you need to clamp the clamp come over here it says roll I don't have a roll I have a piece so I'm going to select piece press enter the machine now measures my sheet of paper just like it would measure a piece of vinyl and I look over here for the actual um, size we already know the the approximate usable area that allowed us to create a file before we loaded our material now that we've got our material loaded we have to go back to the printer or the computer and set my width at 7.4, my height at 8.5. So come back over here. And in Corel Draw, my width was 7.4, my height ended up being 8.5. And when I press enter, watch my material size change. All right, everything still fits, it's good. If your material or your design hung off your material, you would have to modify your, um, the size of your design so that it fit within this space here. All right, now we're gonna go file and print. And in this case, our printer is called the Roland GX24. And I need to go into preferences. Don't forget this, this is the most common mistake is, is that people make is not changing their preferences. You must switch to inches first before you do anything else. Then your width and your length are gonna match these numbers here, 7.4 and 8.5, 73.4, 7.4, come on, okay, 7.4, 8.5, press OK, press Apply, you know what I forgot to do is look at the vinyl cutter itself. If you see this thing right here, that is a cutter blade, that would rip my paper up. So we just loosen this little knob here. Pull the cutter blade out, and it goes in the back of the machine back here. Then we need to pick a pen. I've got a bunch of different colored pens here. I've got a uh, 3D printed pen holder. This one's seen a lot of abuse. It's a few years old, but it's working just fine. Put the pen into the pen holder. It's hard to do with one hand. I'll try it like this. Put the pen into the pen holder until it just stops. 
that over to the vinyl cutter. Place it in where the blade was and just tighten that down a little bit. And there you go, now you're ready to go. Come over to your computer, press print, move your vinyl cutter, and since it's already set up, it should start plotting what you designed. When it's done, you can just unclamp, remove your material, you're done. If you push the arrow button, any arrow, it'll park the carriage back off to the side. It's ready for the next person to use the machine, and you're good to go.